Welcome to our CAPTURE 2019 tutorial series. In this episode, we are going to take a closer look at layers and filters. Layers are a useful feature to categorize different contents of your design. I have prepared a project file with a few abstract shapes on stage, our props, as well as four fixtures rigged on a bar. Layers are added and manipulated through the Layers category of the Design tab. So let's create two different layers, one for the fixtures and one for the props. I click the Add button to add a layer, after which I can give it a name. So let's call it Fixtures. Now there are two ways of assigning layers to objects. Let's start with the first method for the fixtures. First you select the objects you want to assign the layer to and then you drag and drop the layer onto one of the selected objects. Now these fixtures are in the new fixtures layer which means I can change the color of the fixtures layer to purple and this is then reflected in the design view. Let's do a similar thing for the props. Let's create a new layer. Let's call it props. Let's give the props another color. Let's give them a yellow color. Now rather than drag and dropping the layer onto the props, I'm going to show you the other method. That is to go to the selected items category, locate the layer property, double clicking on it and selecting the new layer we had created. Now you can see that we have created one layer for the props, which is yellow, and one layer for the fixtures, which is purple. There are other options available for layers as well, such as line width and colors used in paper mode for plotting, as well as more advanced options for things like whether to include the objects in reports or not. Now let's move on to filters. Filters are how you can turn on and off layers from the views in Capture. Let's create a filter where we have hidden all the props. I start by pressing the Add button and giving the filter a name, in this case, No Props. Now on the right hand column, you can see that we have all the layers of the project listed as well as all the DMX universes. We can, use filters to lay, um, we can use filters to filter both layers and universes, but in this case we just want to hide the props, so I'll double click on the include property of the props layer. In order to assign the filter to a view, the easiest way is to simply drag and drop it onto the view. Another method of choosing the filter for a view is by going to the views category where each view has its own column of settings. So you can see here that the beta view now is in the no props filter. If you want to remove a filter from a view, this is where you would go and select no instead, which clears the filter from the view. It is also possible to apply a filter to all views at once, either by right clicking on it or by pressing the more button and choosing apply to all views. Once the filter has been applied to the views, any editing of it is visible instantly in the views that you have applied it to. That concludes what I wanted to show you with the filters and layers. Thanks for watching and see you soon again.